expiration date June 14, 2021. Hmm. Well, technically it just says Best Buy, but that's a long time ago, so I'm going to assume both of these are expired. Hey, if you like the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I am out here in Arizona camping. I thought I would give you guys an updated tour of the box truck. It's been a while since it's been on a video. I don't remember, quite honestly, the last time I put it in a video. But the truck has been running great. And I decided to take a winter trip out here to Arizona and get a little rest and relaxation in. Besides that, I could also get some work done on the rig. The last couple months when I kind of decided, I'm gonna call it last minute, to take this vacation, I had to clean out the, uh, the box truck and jump on it in terms of getting it ready for for me to, uh, to occupy, to inhabit. Um, I, I took a lot of things out, uh, particularly the kitchen and the cooler for tool storage and different things that I needed to store in this rig. But now that the step van build is just about where I need it to be, a lot of those tools now I can store actually in the garage of the step van. So it, it really, gave me room to go ahead clear this out and put it back together so what I decided to do though was update some of the things some of the the way I had it situated to be honest I wanted to do a total remodel but it wasn't practical I didn't have the time and quite honestly the layout that I have I actually think it works um, it could use a little tweaking but it kind of works so let me show you what I got going on okay we're gonna climb back here in the box truck like I normally would if I was getting in it and I'll let you guys kind of get an overview of what I got going on we still have the electrical in the uh, front passenger side of the living space I'm now running two Renogy AGM batteries at 200 amp hours a piece a 2000 watt Renogy pure sine wave inverter. I'm gonna apologize for the noise. The back door is being open so that I could get light. Um, we've got a Renogy ro Rover uh, charge controller and a Renogy DC to DC charger. Now opposite that, I guess I found these wire racks that I'm using for like a pantry storage. I found these pretty much uh, right before I got ready to leave and so this is one of the one of the projects that I had um, I, I, put, I, I mounted several of these to the walls around the rig you'll see them as we as we work through the tour now directly over the cab we still have um, I'm, I'm gonna call it my very large junk drawer but it's mostly toiletry items and the little black baskets and then larger hard to figure out where it should go items in the overhead um, camera gear mostly uh, a bag of cereal it looks like <laughs> just uh, yeah a very very large junk drawer one of the cri criticisms that I got was when I bounced around so much on the first tour it was really hard to to get a a complete feel or picture of the living space so i'm trying to do some slow pans so that you can get a feel for what we got here this is directly over the bed um, 
nothing changed here. Four containers for clothing um, overhead and in between those containers I, I just stuff stuff. Um, I think I have a battery for my drill here and some of those little portable power packs right there. A thermos and some gloves and first aid kit and some camera type holder thing. Underneath I just got my jacket rolled up and bungee under the bottom uh, of the bed of the upper shelf and below the bed we've got just containers for storage wherever I could put stuff more clothes in the big one and drinks and in that yellow and black container again more tools and parts um, things like that still on the passenger side of the rig We've got my weather station and my diesel heater control and I have been really enjoying that. It's been working quite well. I had a couple of issues at first um, with getting air in the fuel line, but through a little bit of experimentation and trial and error, um, it seems that I have that worked out. I haven't had any issues uh, in a few weeks now, so it's been great. The controller here is um, the remote for my Max Air fan, which I um, moved over to the step van. And I just haven't moved the controller yet because if I put it somewhere and don't remember where I put it, that won't do me any good. This opening here is where that Max Air fan used to live. Um, instead, I, I mounted this Kaframco fan here. So I'm standing back to give you an overview of the garage space. I cut it in half from the original build where both the passenger side, which is what we're looking at, and the driver's side um, made up the garage. But needing a little more room in the rig for uh, running water and I wanted to go ahead and, and a good shower set up. I went ahead and shrunk it down. So in the upper corner, we have my bicycle helmet, some of those wire racks um, for storage, and they have been working out great. Um, I had someone here ask me if the stuff on the shelves fall out, and they do not. Well, I should say I haven't had anything fall out yet. Now these mesh type of um, holders, pockets. They originally started out as one piece units that wrap around a bucket, like some sort of car wash um, accessory bucket. And you could put your sponge or car wash soap or whatever else wax in those pockets around the, bu bu uh, around the bucket um, for storage and whatnot. But I, um, I separated them, cut the straps off and then screwed them to the wall and they're very durable, but I really like um, how they've been working out. I had to take that one and put it in the corner and then turn it and screw it to the wall that way, but I can still utilize all three pockets. It's been working out. I carry a moving blanket in case I have to lay on the ground for some reason or another. My spare tire, I moved it from the driver's side of the very rear wall here to the passenger side. Um, and then of course my ladder, jack and jack stand. I decided to bring my um, rocket stove just in case. Um, this is cardboard I need to burn. And I've got my camp chair and just tools, more tools. Uh, a 90 degree right angle thing for a little woodworking projects that might come up. Um, this is full of electrical stuff and this tank is for the diesel heater. I located it in here against this wall so that um, it would be out of the elements and super easy to fill when I get to a gas station 
um, but I do carry extra diesel um, just in case. And going up the wall, oh, smaller shells, but just utilizing the extra wall space that I had. And of course my bike pump. And I have the front wheel to the bike mounted on the, on the ceiling like before. Right next to the, the front wheel is my shower curtain and shower curtain rod. Um, you can see I have it tied up, um, but I just, I got it mounted where I want it and it's been working great. I just have to come up with another way to support this side of the shower curtain rod when I'm ready to use it. But for now, I've just been using the clamp clamping it to the tire and on this side I have sort of a L bracket of sorts um, and the reason I I use this <laughs> this actually came with the diesel heater to mount the muffler but the holes pretty much lined up with holes that were already there so rather than drill any new holes I just utilized what was already there and the PEX pipe that I used I did that because it's super lightweight and I have a lot of it and these clamps and elbows and stuff that I don't use in three quarter of an inch. So it made for a good shower curtain rod. That's effectively how the shower setup works. It takes a few minutes, um, at least a minute, to get it deployed. And it's a lot better than the previous um, setup that I had because it was really an afterthought and I didn't leave a space for it or anything like that. So I had to come up with something that would be a little easier to use. Yeah, the wind is... <laughs> <laughs> giving me uh, the blues here but you still get the idea and then I just use these zip ties for now since that was all I had and I haven't found the shower curtain rings that I want and this is the wand that I'm using so far it's working just fine This is where I keep my shower supplies, but I may have to find a better place for it now. The wand has an on off button. That black button right there, a switch, um, is the way you can turn the water on and off. And then here is what I'm calling the master on off. Um, this will, it's a valve that I can shut water off completely to the shower head. So this, once I turn this on, water will start going if the shower head's on and I can turn it on and off with the shower head. Um, but to make sure once I'm done that I don't have an issue with automatically turning the water on in case something hits that switch, I turn this to the off position, which is where it's at. And that's the shower. Let me get this out of the way and we'll get back to the tour. And 
this is the same tub that I use in the 18 wheeler um, so it's been working great I know it would be easier to just or I should say more convenient to uh, run some sort of a drain on it but I don't mind um, the small amount of water that ends up in the tub I just dump it and it works out just fine so let's go back up front and we will work our way back here to the back again all right to be consistent we are on the driver's side front of the rig now and just giving you guys a big picture look at what we got going on here before we get over there and talk about it there's only so much room in this rig so as much as I might would like to be in the shot pointing things out to you it'll be a little hard for you to see much with my big head in the way so once we get sort of an overview here done I, we can talk about it alrighty this is more pantry storage um, it was just space that I thought could be utilized for something I have a like a shower tent that I could deploy outside if I wanted to um, and then of course above just more storage for kitchen items I like having my stuff in these plastic containers um, I know cabinets would probably be uh, they would look nicer but um, I didn't want to go with the extra weight involved with all the extra wood and the hinges the handles um, initially I thought I was but after using this for a while it hasn't been a, an issue back inside the rig put the 95 quart Dometic I was gonna change up and do something a little different but it, it was working just fine so I went back to it and right next to the 95 quart Dometic we have our our cook stove I've been using these for years this one here is probably uh, 15 years old and it's been working great and if something happens to it uh, I'm, a, I'm a Walmart away from getting another one Target um, so, um, Academy they're, they're, they're all over the place so easy enough to find below the refrigerator what you can see I have my drinking water storage and some diet iced tea or diet tea of some sort and um, behind that behind this lower section is sits my 40 gallon water tank that was a new addition to the rig because um, I wanted the convenience of having uh, to running water it was a last-minute decision before I got ready to leave and it's been working out uh, very nicely we have our fruit hammock and where I hang my bananas now initially I was hanging them on this end of the shelf but they were banging into the wire racks so I moved them to this end and the kitchen the upper half of the kitchen pretty much stays the same uh, paper towels knife holder and this rack that I found at a thrift store slash towel holder um, the white one is decorative that one is the one I dry my hands on <laughs> um, I have some stuff sitting on the counter because quite honestly I didn't have any other place to put it and the wallpaper here I couldn't find the original wallpaper I used in the in the first build because uh, I just don't know where it said it's in my storage somewhere and uh, I didn't have time to dig through the entire storage trying to find it um, it was a nice brick uh, motif and I really like how it broke up the inside but I found this at, the, at a discount store um, and so I thought I like the the vertical lines so I went with it um, the gray accessories here a basket on the countertop to hold my soaps and dishwashing liquid 
along next right behind the sink in this gray uh, drying mat um, I already had that so it just kind of worked out that that was gray I made I bought that in gray and then I bought these drawers this chest of drawers in gray if I can back up a little bit and let you get a good look at them how about we do this here we go underneath the chest of drawers I have storage for my shoes let's see here in the bottom drawer pots um, some extra cooking backup cooking uh, supplies and some of those some of these um, silicone lids I really like those they, they store very pretty flat and um, they work really well my tortillas keep them from getting smashed I just got some food storage in this middle drawer um, and that's been working out just fine no complaints there again more of those gray baskets to organize it where I could and then in the upper drawer more or less paper plates uh, forks and spoons and whatnot uh, bowls medicines and this um, this drawer came from Ikea I framed it with two by fours so that the countertop would have a lot of support because I doubled that's two sheets of plywood uh, glued and screwed together to give it a good inch and a half of thickness and then again another two by four on this side and then part of the reason this is all elevated is because right underneath here is the wheel well so I just built some framework here to get it up above the the wheel well and to give it a good solid platform to sit on and then uh, mounted it bolted it to the wall but left space uh, behind it so my plumbing my plumbing pipe here can run at a at a diagonal behind the counter or yeah behind the counter and behind the chest of drawers over to this side so then the water comes down the pipe down here and into my freshwater tank and that has been working out really nicely I put my electrical switch from the inverter under here well not the switch but the an outlet for the inverter here below here is the water pump you can see my running water works great give me that little extra room for a larger pot to spray it but that's been working out great and this was my old method of rinsing off uh, pots, pans, uh, my hands, anything basically. It's just a soda bottle with a tiny hole at the top. I still use this in my pickup truck um, and in the 18-wheeler since I don't have running water in either of those. And I can just turn it over, squirt as much as I need, rinse stuff off. It just gives me some control and I can use the least amount of water and still get things done so occasionally I like to take stuff outside and rinse it off and uh, just save me some of the trouble of all the splatter and things like that that'll go on in here now this is a new addition to the kitchen area this shelf that I added and I put it on a hinge That sits like that. It's pretty stable. The hinge is supposed to be able to hold 300 pounds or so. Um, I don't know if I believe that, but it's firm enough to hold a couple of plates or to provide me some extra prep surface if I should need it. And then these little um, mechanisms, I flip these over to keep the drawers from coming open when I'm driving and those have worked out very nicely. I kind of like the way they look too. Um, 
again, sort of by accident, but I'd, moved, I'd been using brushed nickel uh, around the rig, the knife holder, the faucet, and just different places. And so when I saw these in a brushed nickel finish, it just made sense. that out of the way and we'll move to the very back here wire baskets which you probably already noticed again my plumbing feel I can use a water hose through this inlet and gravity fill through the top and that worked out great I didn't realize how important it is to have a gravity fill uh, initially but I caught a video right before I set this up and I noticed that the water the vending machines out here you don't hook a hose up to them it's gravity and so when I got here filled up my tanks and had no problems with that um, now this is my instant hot water heater I haven't had any issues with it in this spot here um, I used a couple of two by fours again roughly cut so I need to improve those when I get back um, but that got it mounted off the wall and gave room for the plumbing behind it And again, it doesn't get hot back there or on the sides as close as it is to this plastic on the countertop um, None of this gets hot um, Heat comes out this way a little bit, but not even that much uh, for the very short periods of time that I have it run have it on the propane tank right here feeding it and then Below that, or next to it, I have my Mr. Heater, Buddy Heater for a backup, just in case, since I brought the propane tank. I have um, some power tools in this case below it, and in the box, I have a backup diesel heater, just in case I need that. Um, but so far, um, we haven't had a problem. The red bucket on the bottom has uh, just been overflow storage, and the red bucket on top I think everybody probably recognizes that but that is my toilet let me step back and give you guys another overview shot of the interior and the sink just drains into a two and a half gallon jug that I have down here. I downsized the solar setup just a bit. I took one of my 300 watt panels off the rear of the rig and replaced it with two 100 watt panels that you can see there on the back. That left room in between the two panels so that I could add a roof vent fan um, down the road if I choose to. Well that's going to do it for this video. I appreciate each and every one of you for taking the time to watch and we'll see you in the next video.